Anything to drink? By the way, um, you're two hours late, and you didn't call me again. You sure about that? I hate you so much right now. I let her go on and on and on about the intricacies of a relationship, and I sit here motionless, thoughtless. Her lips move as if they're flapping in the wind, and my responses are simply muffled replies that barely make sense to anyone because it's hard to answer without listening to the question. I don't like drama, and I don't like drama queens, but this one right here, in front of me, she draws me into this self-conscious world of hers where every single possibility of where this night will take her is perfectly thought out. Consequences weighed and, ultimately, a womanly neurosis is reached. All I wanted to do was hang out and have a good time. I didn't even think far enough ahead to know which movie I wanted to watch with her. Yet she's babbling on about needing to know what I thought of this relationship. So I said, what relationship? And that did no good for my situation. I think she's crazy because she confounds me and makes me feel crazy and I don't need this shit in my life. But she is so beautiful, but so am I, but I don't, but she is so, and I, I'm stuck here and able to react accordingly. She motions towards me and in 4.0 seconds she goes from cold to hot, zero to 60, and I receive her well-aimed kisses sullenly confused, forced to be a part of her internal madness. And I feel hopeless because I couldn't, wouldn't, didn't want to move. And I feel weak because she took the power that I had, the power to leave right then and there, away from me. And I'm suddenly mad and resent her and take her close and do what she wants and love it and hate her and leave. Spoiled by the experience, but never to fall into her mindfuck trap again. Unless I run into her on the street tomorrow, five months, years from now. She said that I was only along for the ride, and I said, fuck you. So she made me, and I left knowing that she was so right.